Hello and welcome to the No Format Required Podcast. Yeah, we had a week off, I do apologise about that. But this is the only podcast where we can promise to bring you an episode on Monday, tweet about it, and then completely forget and release it on the Tuesday. So, as I said the other day on Twitter, or it's not Twitter anymore, is it? It's X. I don't think anyone's going to get used to that. No, it's everywhere they call it X, formerly known as Twitter. Um Anyway, just like Ramble. Uh, X, uh, Instagram, Facebook. We've got a TikTok account now, by the way, guys. Uh, we don't post anything on it pretty much, but <laughs> we have got one. Uh, yeah, on those socials we post, or I posted, uh, that I'm going to be releasing a spoiler-free review of Strange Things. This really is going to be short and brief because I really, really don't want to spoil anything. Um, absolutely phenomenal show. All I will say is... It was long. We Well, we actually went in early because we wandered around London and was trying to find somewhere um, to sit down and have a coffee or a drink. But, oh my God, sun, Saturday evening in London. I knew it was going to be busy. I don't think I was expecting it to be that busy. Um, it was absolutely insane. I had a nice little walk through um, Common Garden to begin with. Saw the Christmas tree and a busker was singing some Christmas carols, which was nice. Um, spoiler alert, I also talk about this next week on the podcast because I recorded, we've recorded next week's podcast before I'm recording this podcast because, you know, we're so unorganised. Um, so yes, yeah, so I, uh, so we went to Covent Garden, looked at the Christmas tree, yada, 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 and then we started walking through to, um, the, uh, theatre, it was at the Phoenix Theatre, where I saw Come From Away, another great musical you should go see, say, mu- another musical, this one was a stage play that I saw, um, and was like, well, we'll see what's there. If there's nothing, we'll just go back to the hotel and sit there for an hour. But when we got there, they we realised that they'd literally just opened the doors. We're like, is the bar open? I was like, yep. Yeah. So we ran in, got a drink and a very expensive drink. We only got Pepsi's each, and they were in a small 250 mil glass, and they cost us four pounds each. So <laughs> hey ho, London prices. Um. So yeah, so we was in there from about quarter past six and eventually went and got into, got into our seat at quarter past seven show started at half seven absolutely phenomenal to begin with the intro just i won't spoil anything but it was set on board the boat and it just seeped into the crowd the whole thing whole scene and then suddenly like when the scene ended the classic stranger themes tune came on there was projection onto the stage it seemed like was watching a tv show the way they'd done it there was um pre-recorded not scenes but sort of like mm, i'm trying to think of the way to describe them so say for example a like a pan of uh hawkins that's what they basically did they panned through hawkins and then slowly the, the reveal was into the school i think no, the first scene was you, you basically got introduced to all the main characters and players in this um, uh, show. So the, the show focuses on all of the characters, the adult characters that we see, but as younger kids. Um, so they're all basically the age of their kids in the current show. But uh, So you, you've got Hopper, you've got Joyce, you've got uh, Bob, Bob Newby. He's back. Because obviously he went to school with them all. And then you've got all of like Dustin's dad and mum. All the ones who are only sort of like bit players in the TV series. But you see them younger in this. And it also features Henry Creel who's in season four and revealed to be Fechner. Um, It basically focuses on him and how he sort of got enlisted. Not enlisted but sort of came to be with Dr. Brenner. The TV series in series four goes into a little bit on Henry's backstory. You see, like, who he kills um, when he's younger in the TV series. This is basically that story, but spread over, I say, a long show, three and a half hours. (laughs) We had no idea it was going to be that long. On the official website, it said to be confirmed. Um, When I Googled it, one source, which turned out to be incorrect, said two and a half hours, which includes the interval. Um, apparently I've since read the director has said they're trying to make it shorter. They're aware it's long at the moment. It is in advanced previews. It doesn't actually get released until December the 4th, I believe. Um, so they're still working on it, still making changes, but it's incredible. Just it's 
Lion King esque in terms of there is moments when characters, not big characters, but scenes are seeped into the um, to the audience, and we're on the top level as well, and it even seeped into us up there, which was again incredible. Just feel as though you're part of it, and yeah, just the stage production and. It's written by Jack. Well, it's not written by Jack Fawn. It's written by I can't remember her name, um, but she basically wrote some of the um, uh, TV series. And the Duffer Brothers enlisted her to write the stage play because she knew the ins and outs of Stranger Things quite intricately. Um, they told her to come at it as if she was writing a TV episode. So have scenes within scenes and stuff like that. So like scenes playing out at the same time. And she does that. And the show does that. And it's incredible with how it does it. You genuinely do feel like you're watching a TV series. Um, there's like flashbacks and things like that that occur while scenes are going on. I can't explain how incredible and well done it is. But it is incredibly well done. Like I say, the only issue at the moment is it is slightly on the longer side. The second half did drag ever so slightly um just not as action-packed as i hoped it would be but it doesn't need to be action-packed it's a self-contained story um about hawkins in 1959 so yeah highly recommend it go see it if you get a chance don't know how long it's around for at the moment it's for some reason only in london um don't know why the uk or england to be more specific um has been chosen for this one-time event but yeah it's only in london at the moment i don't know whether there's plans to bring it out to america or any other countries to say that stranger things is worldwide popular but yeah if you're ever in london and you get a chance to buy tickets we got the cheap 15 pound tickets which again we're on a grand circle and you could see absolutely everything there was only one little bit where we leant forwards but it's not massive you don't miss anything by not leaning forwards so yeah Really recommend going to see it. I would rate it out of... I was trying to think of something cool. Oh, come on. That's sitting in the face. I would rate it... I'd say about 9 out of 11. There we go. Right. That's it for this episode. Next week, I will be joined back with Charlie. Uh, we've recorded an episode. I don't know how well it's going to go. Um, because there were times we were talking over each other. He's basically on holiday at the moment. Um, you know, he's having a big blowout holiday. I think he's going to be gone for three weeks. He's back on the Monday, the next week on Monday when the episode releases. Yeah. And he went the previous Saturday, Sunday, one of the two. Um, so yeah, three weeks is when he would, he, how long he's been gone for. Um, but yeah, in the episode, because there was a slight signal issue occasionally, we do accidentally talk over each other. There was, there was a delay in us talking basically. So it'd be like a five second delay after he f finished that I'd start talking. So because of that, one of us might interrupt each other more often than not, but we tried our best. It's half an hour and hopefully when I go to edit it, it'll work. If not, you just gonna have to listen to it to find out if it's rubbish. Yeah. Meh. We do that every now and again, right? Stay safe everyone. And we'll see you next week. Bye.